to Satara Wolf. Today I will show you how I repaint the, an ETS2 truck, which is going to be the SCS Renault Range T. Now there are a couple of things that you will need. First of all, you need a template. And having a Google search, here is a template. And you just click on it, right click, save image as, and save it to where you want to save it. I'll leave the link for this in the description. And next you want is the ToeBJ editor. Now this is a Google Drive. I have tested it and it's fine for me. Of course, go with caution. If you don't want to do it this way, obviously Google search ToeBJ editor. Again, the link for this and the template is in the description. So once we have a template, we need to open it with PaintNet or any other image program you want to use. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a new layer above background, double click and multiply. So we're going to go for a simple color and just do the whole lot because it's a basic. And we're also going to add a new layer. Now, what I tend to find, and I've had this advice before, everything you do have it on a different layer. So let's go and open up my logo. So if I just change the color of this, um, and then do that, I just change it slightly. There we go, that should be all right. I copy that and paste it in. And then let's just stick it onto the door. Like so, copy and paste it onto this side. So there we go. To me, that is basic and it's done. So I'm gonna save this as a PDN, and again, the same as OMSI uh, repaints, I have a separate file somewhere. Go into range T, and then oh, call it whatever you want. So let's call it Sitaro Wolf. Okay, now I'm gonna untick background, file, Save as, and now we're going to do this as a dot DDS, a direct draw surface. And then we're going to hit save. Now the settings for this are BC1 linear DXT1, perceptual, and if you have generate MIP maps ticked, untick it. And then press OK and flatten. And of course, make Control Z. I guess I need to edit it later, <coughs> which I won't because it's just a basic repaint. So, what we need to do now is go into our folder. Now, I have created a Range T, a Renault T folder that I will upload and you can download it and use it for your own. So, you can see Range T underscore name here. So, we're going to rename this and take away the name here to Satara Wolf. Inside there, we're gonna have three folders and two files. Sometimes you might get another file. I can't remember what that one is. So we're gonna, first of all, go into vehicle, into truck, upgrade, paint job, Renault T, and then your name goes here as well. So your company name, your truck skin, like Stobart, uh, Malcolm, etc. So that's going to be Satara Wolf. And in here is where we want our repaint file, the DDS file. So if I go back into here and just copy 
that into here. Now we need to do the TBJ, TOBJ edit. So if I open this, go up to the top here, copy address and paste. Now I want to get rid of everything up to vehicle. Add another slash and then we can type Sataro Wolf, which is your name, dot DDS. File save as. Get rid of TobyJ edit and go to Sitaro and click the name. And then get rid of the dot DDS at the end and save. That has now got a TobyJ file linked to the repaint file, which is important. Because if we head back now to the main folders, we can go into the dev folder, vehicle, truck, Renault.t, paint job. Now these files here, we need to change these, but without capital letters. So turn them off. So turn them off. So everything that says name here is what you need to change. So we're going to open this up with Notepad++. So at the top here, it says accessory every paint job data name here. So Sotaro Wolf at include the other file we just changed. So get rid of that. Sotaro Wolf. It tells you what truck is suitable for. So this is a high sleeper. And then the paint job mask. This is the folder name. And then this is where your ToeBJ file is needed. So Tyro Wolf. Now let me just check to make sure that everything is the same. So if I go back to vehicle, truck, upgrade, paint job, Renault.t, so Tyro Wolf. Yep, everything is the same. And then we click save. Now we're going to have to go back to the dev folder. And I've gone into the yeah, dev folder and Star Wolf shared. Open that up. And then the name here. So this would be this display name in the game. So we're going to call it Sotaro Wolf. How much it costs. Unlock level. And then the icon, which we'll come to. And we can go save and close that. The accessories, again, we need to rename this. To your name and open this with notepad plus plus and then the name of the folder which is Sotaro Wolf and save so these are all the accessories available for the side skirts which I haven't quite yet worked out how to do that so now we're going to material UI accessory Name here dot match, so we're going to rename that. Get no capitals. I don't think we should change anything. Yes, we do. So the texture again is Sotaro Wolf. And save that. Now these are your images, these are your icons. Okay, so we can change this if I just go oh, where's my colors gone there we go if I change this to red and then white text I have whatever you like on here so it gets identified so it's a tug wolf save that 
and then change the name here to Satana Wolf. Now we can get rid of this ToBJ file because we need ToBJ edit again. So we just copy the address, paste it in here, and this goes up until material. So file, save as. We already have that. So material, UI, accessory. Type in Zotaro Wolf.dds. Take away .dds and save. So now that ToBJ file is linked to that icon image, the UI image which we've done that in, we set all that up in the dev. The manifest, we can open that up and name here. So package version, display name, Sotaro Wolf underscore range T. Your name goes here, the author, so Start 2013. The mod icon is going to be this file here. So if you change the name of that file, you need to change it in here. And then the category course is paint job. So let's save that. And the mod icon, well, at the moment it's just my Kafness Hordage truck for my company. But you can't do anything with that until you've been in game. So I think that is everything we need to do. So now what we need to do is go into our range T folder. So this is the name, range T is Tower Wolf. Highlight them all, right click, add to archive. And then we'll click, collect. Select zip, go up here and take off zip and put SCS and press okay. This is now your SCS file. So we can go into documents and we can go to our ETS2 folder mod and then we can edit uh, well, edit right click copy right click paste and there it is down there so the next job now is to see the truck in game okay so we've got the game open just select the profile that you want it on go to mod manager and you'll see satire wolf underscore range t it comes under paint jobs so we can now go and activate that and confirm changes. And then we can load up and see what it's like. Ooh. Okay, so now we can go and find our truck. Um, this isn't the high sleeper. Oh, yes it is. High sleeper and Satara Wolf. Now up here should be the UI, but it's not working for some reason. But there is the repaint. So what accessories can we add? There we go. Plastic and paint. Uh, paint, there we go. That's plastic and that bit is paint. So that's the truck that we have just painted and it's now in game and it looks good now the side as you can see are pink um because i haven't done anything to these because i'm still trying to work that one out but we have your basic truck paint in game ready to show off on youtube videos or screenshots on social media wherever you like. And if you're in my Discord, I will have a channel in there for your repaints of your OMSI 2 buses and of your ETS trucks. And the process is the kind of same for both of the trucks, um, but I can see what I can do about getting some folders for you ready and linked up for download. Um, of the folder setup. But yes, there we go. Isn't that awesome? Well, I hope 
I have helped in some way. Um, yeah, looks good. So until my next video, have fun.